Last episode, we rushed to build a gingerbread workshop and then surrounded it by a magical winter wonderland. In today's episode, we finally find a dwarven mountain hold, build a barn for our animals, and then stuff a bunch of villagers in it. Let's get started. Now, I've been promising you guys something for a while now and have not delivered. And no, it's not good content. I'm, I'm sorry, that's such a bad joke. <laughs> no, I, I have a clipboard here. We actually have a clipboard for episode 5. Let me go get it. Look at this, the episode 5 clipboard. We did all of the things. It's amazing what you can do when you write the clipboard after you do the episode. That's crazy. But here's episode 4's, and the two things that we didn't do was clean up and find a mountain. I did clean up a little bit after that, but it wasn't during the episode, so I'm not going to take it off. However, in this beautiful episode 6 clipboard, I have find a mountain as this gigantic, bold item. And we are going to do that first thing, so I don't put it off anymore. Now, we do have a couple of other things today that I want to do. We've got to relocate some animals, but first, we got to build a barn to do that i want to gather some villagers totally not kidnapping we're gonna we're gonna gather them and then i really need mending and i have been just plowing through these tools just it's it's getting really bad i'm running out of diamond supplies once again because i keep repairing them with diamonds and not mending it's it's a big problem but the reason hello the reason that i want to build a barn today is because here i want to put an andesite farm right i'm going to put one right here in this little area it's going to be perfect it's a, it's a it's a per it's a perfect space for this little area. It's a perfect area for this... It's a perfect area for an andesite farm. It's going to fit perfectly here with the aesthetic and everything. And that means that we can get our path that goes from around here all the way over to here. Gets to the andesite farm. It's going to be great. So where's this barn going to go? It's going to go down here. And this entire area, I think, is going to be pasture. I I'm pretty sure because I... Usually what I end up doing is I make these nice little pasture areas and it's just not enough space for the animals. So I think I want to put something here and then just have a, a wide open spaces. Yeah, for our animals to, to live in here. And then in the barn, not because I think they're like domesticated animals or anything, we're going to have a space for a little tiny villager trading hall, right? So we're going to have our emerald makers on one side and our stuff on the other side, the, the get things from things, probably just librarians on the other side, but we'll see. It's a good way to get glass villagers. Anyways, first, before we do any of that, I want to head in this direction, and we're going to go look for our mountain. Well, I guess we're going to head in that direction. We have frozen peaks on our compass here, and I also am chalked up on hamburgers. This is going to be fantastic. Let's get going. There's a mountain. Oh, with a little village next to it. Wow, this place is gorgeous. Oh, what is that? Hi, yes, hello, what are you? Nope, can't go up that high. Nope. Well, we tried. <laughs> Turns out it's a sunbird. Wow, it gives you a little puff if you get close to it. That's pretty cool. And it disappeared, great. Oh, another village over here. There's a peaks. All right. Let's check this out. So what I'm really looking for is some sort of like sheer cliff like this that goes all the way down to the ocean floor. And that is probably going to be a little bit difficult to find, to be perfect. Uh, I mean, there's a bit of ocean over here, so this might work out. That's not bad, actually. That is not bad at all. I don't like how this juts out like this. But that is not bad. Oh, an orca. Cool. Oh. Oh. Yo. Wow. That's it. That's it right there. Holy cow. Well, hey, we found home. This is incredible. This is exactly, exactly what I was thinking about. When I thought dwarven, dwarven, uh, this, this is perfect. Just this huge dwarf entrance with like a harbor in there. We'll have the water going straight in. Uh, some little seals over there, cute. Oh my gosh, we'll have to make this look a little bit better. It's a little patchy right now. This is going to take a while, but oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is literally perfect. Let's see what, uh, what are we, what are we working with underground here? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. All right, so I'm going to have to do a lot of excavating and hole filling by the looks of it this is great oh my gosh and oh yeah the mountain just wraps around over around this area 
And if we really needed to, I mean, I don't think we're going to take up that much space, but we could even go under here over to this side as well, where that other cliff face was. Black Sheep, look at this mountain. This is amazing. This is, oh, and it keeps going. My goodness. Have we reached the end? We have reached the end. This is incredible. It might be a little too big. This, this mountain range might be a little too big. I don't know if we'll be able to fill all of this space from here. Let's, uh, let's land. I'll show you what it looks like on the map. From here, all the way to here. That's an insane amount of space. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Well, we did it. We found home. This is, this is incredible. This is going to take so much time to build up. But I am, I am super excited. This is essentially going to be the place where all of our farms go. Like, everything. This is going to be... Uh, we're going to have lava here and the massive cobblestone. And this is where everything is going to live in this dwarven harbor mountain thing. It's going to be super awesome. Let's just drop in. And just to give you a sense of how close we are to our, our base currently... We just go this direction a little ways, and bam, here we are right here. This is really only like three and a half, four thousand blocks away, which isn't too bad. The only thing that I wish it had was water that connected everything together. Now we have this huge ocean piece up here. I'm gonna see if this ocean piece is connected somehow, because I'd really, really love to tinker with some boat systems in create now you might be saying throw boat systems create that doesn't make any sense we have trains we don't have boats well guess what railroad tracks can go underwater and trains once they're assembled and moving actually go through blocks and why has that been important well that bit is important because i can actually hide train tracks underneath the ground dig out a huge channel underneath the ocean and just build a train that looks like a boat that is connected to the underground channel railroad track thingy and any of the blocks that are here the boat will just go through it the, the train tracks will just go through it now it doesn't look like we're going to be lucky enough to have everything connect unless it goes through these little channels here and then i spent the next four hours looking for a connecting route <laughs> look at this cute little guy <laughs> that's super cute some of these village revamps are just adorable look what i found all right let's see which one that almost sounded like uh, the song Tequila. <laughs> there are some allays here as well. They are down there. You you, you can't see. Oh, oh hey, nerd. Uh, there there are allays in here, I promise. There they are. Uh, we will come back and we'll, we'll rescue... Ow! Rescue these guys later. Don't worry. We will come get them. What are these things? They're probably not friendly. A Tusklin. That is super cool. Okay, nope. Not happy. Not happy, boys. Okay. Those are super neat. Is that a snow leopard? Oh my gosh, it totally is. I I don't want to get killed by it because snow leopards are super cool and I don't want to, like, be upset with it. <laughs> Ew, I found a slug. Ew. Does it do anything? Banana slugs. Small moss, blah, 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 blah. Banana slug slime block. Ugh. Oh, gross. So if you make these and put them in water, then the water will turn into, like, mucus and then eventually just go away. That's so gross. Drop your mucus. I want it. I want it. Give me your mucus. Oh, a trail ruin! Oh my gosh, is that what this is? Oh, wow. Super cool. I've never seen one of these before, to be honest. Oh, that kind of sucks that it's underwater because it's going to be hard to excavate. Oh, that is super neat. I'm going to set a waypoint for this thing, too. Well, here we are back home from our little adventure. What an absolutely beautiful mountain that is. It's going to be perfect for us. I unfortunately couldn't find a way back through the ocean. Let me go ahead and show you the map here. So here we are home. And if we head over in this direction, here's that dwarf mountain right over here. And there's no way that I see over this way to get through this area. However, if we head up in this direction, there is a little bit of a river that snakes all the way through. It goes down over here, right next to those allays that we saw. And then we cut into this area here. And this would be perfect if it connected. But if we keep going down, eventually it takes us either this way or this way to the ocean. Now, this way I think would be a little more direct. And then we could head right down to our island here and have an absolutely beautiful boat path, right? That 
boats came down over here and then they loop around and they come this way and then come on up. And if we want to get back, we can just channel on up the river, etc., etc. Now, I haven't checked up in this area. Now, it got super icy, and I wasn't 100% sure if there was going to be anything up here. And to be honest, it, it was just taking a long time and a lot of fuel for me to just fly around. <laughs> we, we can worry about that at a different day. But as you can see, I also haven't checked this way either. So there could be a way that we go through this black abyss and somehow find a river that'll come up this way and come up over here. I also didn't check out over here either, so that that's a problem for future Thrillash. Sucks to be that guy. But let's build a barn here. I don't think I want to flatten any more of this area out, uh, except for a couple areas where I'm going to actually put this barn. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down a foundation and get this barn going. Let's cue the music and get a nice little time lapse going for you, huh? <laughs> And here it is, it's all done. Look at this beautiful barn behind us. I started decorating as you can see already and we actually have some animals back there as well, but it is complete and I'm pretty proud of it, to be honest. Uh, I, I kind of ran out of space inside for things that we were going to do today, which is true, but also not true because I wanted to put villagers in here as well as eventually I wanna put some meat processing, some animal processing stuff in here. And my thought was, oh, I'll just throw all the villagers upstairs. And also in this back room here, which is absolutely perfect for some villager goodness. So in this room alone, I'm going to be fitting about 18 villagers. And I just place these here so I could see where they're going to go, etc. And I'll, I'll replace these and make them look better, etc, etc. With 18 villagers and also up here, we can put storage for things like sticks and emeralds and all that sort of stuff that we're going to be trading to them. I don't think that's going to be enough. So we're probably going to have to use some of this upstairs space for villagers as well. I'm not really sure yet. We're gonna we're gonna fill in this space down here with some villagers and then we'll worry about whether we need to add some more later or not. Now this channel here is going to eventually house a train. And I might have to dig it down one more block because this is actually kind of low. But yes, I'd like a train that goes between all of our stuff. And if I poke my head out this way, actually let's go on top of the barn here I have a I thought I finished this so I didn't yet <laughs> I am going to have a fence that goes from the barn all the way around all the way over here it goes all the way down over there it doesn't look pretty over there don't look and then it comes over this way it comes all the way over this way and, uh, and connects back here this looks really cool and this is exactly what I wanted I wanted free range tons of space this is gonna be fantastic now I understand that once I put a train in here, it's going to run over animals. So I'm going to move the fence. Don't worry, I'm not going to have a train run into animals. That's awful. What I will most likely do is move this fence here and have this connect somewhere down over here so the train will be able to just go this way and come back etc etc on, on its merry way by itself however i'm not worried about the train right now what i am worried about is this fence i want to continue this fence along i'm probably just going to have it run along 
and stop here and just come down this way. I'll finish this and then we'll break these pens here, let all these animals out and bring them all over here with some wheat because we've got enough of it and we'll get them all in here and get them just, you know, living in their new space, their new beautiful space just for them. I trapped a monkey in here too because I wanted one. Well, I guess here goes nothing. Let's start with the sheep. Oh geez, I'm killing them already. <laughs> That's the sheep taken care of. Now I'm gonna do the cows as well. I'm just, I'm not gonna record this because it takes for friggin' ever to do this. <laughs> okay, I lied, I am gonna record this. I found a really, really simple way to do this. Just hover with the jetpack a little bit off the ground and stealth backwards. It's working really well. I should have done this with the sheep. <laughs> now this right here, this is a farm. This, this is a farm. We got our chickens, we got our sheep, we got our cows, all mingling together. The only thing that's missing is some trees and little rock structures and all that sort of stuff. This is a farm. Oh, I am so happy to see this. This is the first time I've ever done this in Minecraft. Just make a, a nice big open area for animals to roam around in. I love this so much. What I might do eventually is just grab my wheat and drag some of them down over here and drag some over there, just so they get a little more spread out, but this is awesome. <laughs> I love this aesthetic so much. Oh my gosh, look at all the space that this gives us. This is- that, that took up way more space than I actually thought it was. So this is what we've got to work with now for other farms, like an andesite farm building and all that sort of stuff. I think there's gonna be more than enough space, but we'll be able to snake some walkways and such through it, like I said I wanted to do. Now, the only thing that we have to do left- I'm gonna go ahead and get on Hamish here. We'll head back down to the barn. The only thing we have left to do is we have to go snag some villagers. And I know there are some villagers. If I just open up the map, there are some villagers down right over here. I believe that's the closest village. It looks like it. I mean, this, you know, they, they might be a little equidistant. But this one, at least I can just use a boat. Pick some villagers up, put them in a boat, and, you know, bring them back over here. So that should be super easy. So I'm just going to put Hamish in the pen and we'll go snag some villagers. Now we're gonna put the villagers in here. I think we might make a villager breeder either underneath here or upstairs. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll figure that out and cross that bridge when we get to it. But for right now, I'm just gonna head over and grab a couple villagers so we can get started. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> just, just stack villagers on top of each other for easy transportation. I have four of them here. We'll see how many survive the way. <laughs> Well, I think we have our villager breeder straightened out. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not pretty, but we're gonna go down into free cam here and we have a couple of villagers. There's one here, and there's another one over here, and we already have ourselves a little baby. And the way this works is the farmer's gonna keep farming the crops, and these two are going to breed, and then eventually when the babies grow up, their head is gonna touch, whoop, hang on, this water block here, and then they should just float up gently to this space right here. Now I understand that that is going to get us a lot of villagers, <laughs> probably very quickly, and once we fill up this room and maybe the upstairs room, depending on how many villagers we need, we'll obviously just go down here and cap off all of the uh, different spaces that uh, or, or just get rid of the beds. If we just get rid of the beds, we won't get any more villagers. But now we have these two here, and we can go ahead and make little stalls for them so we can start trading with them. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you the absolute perfect villager when you're going to start trading for emeralds in Create are Fletchers. The Fletchers are just the most overpowered villagers for this mod pack because your tree farms get your sticks automatically, your iron farm gets you flint automatically, and guess what? These folks trade flint and uh, sticks as number one and number two. It's incredible. Uh, this has been, I don't know, five minutes, maybe, maybe three minutes of trading. I've got two and a half stacks of emeralds already just from two villagers. I'm going to make probably five or six of these guys, and then I'll make... 
uh, a couple of other villagers that, that will be able to farm a whole bunch of resources for very quickly. I mean, I might be able to do masons. I feel like masons uh, buy, like, andesite. So if we get our andesite farm up and running, I can just... Sorry, I thought that was a cow. I can just sell the andesite to the masons, I'm pretty sure, but we'll have to check that out in future. Now, while I have been trading, uh, we've got a golem that's bond, which is problematic, but uh, we have another two babies that have been barn. So this is uh, working so far. I can't wait for them to grow up. Ooh, yeah, we're up into the 40s now. I can't wait for the babies to grow up so that way we can uh, get some more of these nerds up here. Oh, look, and they're sharing carrots. Isn't that cute? But I'm going to come up with some more permanent uh, villager cells. I don't feel like calling them cells. Pens seems a little more fitting because we're in a barn. So villager pens. And uh, get some storage up here, uh, up above this line. Uh, just, you know, above the villager pens. And I'll come back to you once we are all set. Well, I wasn't actually able to create the pens yet. But I do have this gentleman here, or excuse me, this woman here, Holly. Uh, who is an expert and they sell us mending. I now have mending on absolutely everything, all of my tools and everything. I got a couple of Fletchers, so I am just rolling in emeralds. Where are they? There we go, rolling in emeralds. This is really great. And let's start ticking off some stuff. So we found a mountain, we built a barn, we relocated our animals, we gathered some villagers and we got mending. We got everything done today. Get out of my way, Holly. We got everything done today. Isn't that fantastic? That that just feels really good. And I've also done a little more decorating. I have like a like a field hay bale feeder thing and some water that the golem is stuck in for some reason stop it stop you're gonna rust get out of there and i did swap out the hay bales to bundled hay, hay bales just because they look a little bit better and i've also made a little bit start of a path over here i figured a rustic looking path would be better and i can change this to uh something that looks a little bit more like this in future but unfortunately that is all the time that we have for this video i am actually going on vacation i'm I'm going to be on an airplane, I believe, when this video comes out, so I'll be gone about six days after this video drops. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck on my vacations. It's going to be super great. Uh, I'm going to be playing, or excuse me, doing some stuff with some friends. It's going to be super wonderful. Oh, and actually, before we go, hey, Mesh, Eva, and there you go, and there you go. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, yeah, and thank you everybody to my uh, to my patrons. You are absolutely fantastic I love each and every one of you so much and I'll put their names on the screen right now uh, So yeah, thanks everybody. I appreciate every one of you singles persons so much Thanks for the views and the likes and the subs and all that sort of stuff and we'll see you after vacation. Bye